Okay, so from the side control, we're going to now look at a transition over to mount. So we've beaten this near side frame, okay, we've come up high to the high side control. Now from here, I want to make sure before I progress to mount, that I'm able to elevate this arm above my partner's head first. Now I find that a lot of times when people go to mount, okay, and they cross over, they don't really like the position or they try to avoid going to mount in general, um, or they tend to get rolled over from here. And I think it's personally how they might be setting it up. Okay, so oftentimes if I'm here, my partner has her frames down low, I'm already starting in a losing scenario. Okay, I'm gonna have to peel her arms away from her body from here, which is gonna be way more difficult than if I set that up from side control first. So I won't go on to mount unless I get the arms up high away from the body. Otherwise, I'll just stay in side control and work attacks from there, or I'll try and transition over to the back. So when I'm here, okay, I work the frame up high. Okay, I've got this propped under, um, I've got my partner's arm propped on top of my own leg. Okay, I've got my underhook on this side, and now I'm gonna work this arm up before I progress over. So I won't progress over while the arm is here. Okay, it's gonna be difficult for me to even get my leg across here. I'm gonna walk the hand up high, okay, or I can shoot it up high like we did earlier. Okay, so I can either base, crowbar, base, crowbar, until I can work my head in, or I can reach up high, okay? Once I've reached up high, I bring this knee across the chest to transition over to mount. Okay, so the arm is low, she's framing nicely. I get my hand under the lip of her elbow, okay? Once I get to here, I hit my hand to the mat, I'm gonna reach crowbar. So I slap the mat, extend my arm. Slap the mat, extend. Slap the mat, extend. Or I can use my whole body behind my arm as I punch up high and lean into that top shoulder. Once I get to here, I'm gonna cross my knee over her belly, okay? Keeping my foot in tight, pinch, slap the foot out, and then bring it tight to her hips again, okay? So once I get to mount, let's look at how we'll control from here. So I'm gonna keep my hips above my partner's hip line. So I'm not sitting my hips on top of my partner's bridge. Okay, if I leave my weight on top of her bridge and she does a big bridge, she's gonna be able to throw my weight and off balance me. So I'm gonna take my hips slightly above her hip line, okay? I'm able to do this because I've already peeled the arm away from the body. So I already have the arm up high before I even progress to mount. Okay, so now I can take my hips slightly higher. I don't have to be all the way up on her chest just yet, but just have them slightly above. And just for a reference point where I can feel when she's going to bridge, that's where I'll bring my feet in tight to the hips. So now when she goes to the bridge, I can feel when she's gonna go and I can prepare myself in whichever direction I need to offload my weight, okay? So I have the arm across the head. I can bring my head to the far side, okay? I'm just gonna keep myself propped up so I can talk, okay? My feet come in tight, but my knees are gonna go quite wide either side of it. Reason being, I wanna be able to catch my weight in either side. So my legs are like a pyramid jutting outwards. When she bridges side to side, I can catch my weight either direction. Again, I'm not concerned about having my knees wide and her scooping under my legs because I've got one of the arms framed up, and if she scoops my leg up on the other side, then I'm gonna have a mounted triangle straight away, okay? Now, if I'm here and this elbow starts to come down tight, so maybe I had the control here, but I start to lose this elbow, and now she tightens up, that's when I'm gonna bring my knees back in tight and walk the elbows away from the body, okay? So if I'm here, and it can happen where I've peeled the elbow away and have strong positioning, but she keeps fighting and she gets that elbow free and now she starts to frame into my hips. Once we're here, okay, now I'm gonna take my knees in tight, walk up high, and that'll get the elbows away from the body again where I'll have lots of attacks from here. Okay, so that is also an option if you do start to lose that frame. So when I have this high mount with the arm across the head, Okay, what I wanna think about is what direction can she realistically bridge in? Now, I've got the arm across the face on this side and I'm leaning my weight into her head in this direction. 
So for her to bridge in this direction where she can't get her elbow to the mat is going to be very difficult. She needs, in order to have a successful bridge and turn, to get her elbow to the mat for her to successfully turn up on her side. So if I've got her elbow blocked here and she tries to bridge in this direction, okay, it's going to be very difficult. Okay. Now her other option is to bridge in the other direction. So as she goes to bridge in this direction, she can get up on this elbow. Okay. But when she bridges in this direction, if I switch, okay, to a technical um, sit, I guess here, technical mount, okay. I've made that up. <laughs> Into technical mount? You've not heard of it? Oh my god. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> so as she turns in this direction, I go to this new thing we call technical mount, okay, where I prop my knee underneath her body, making a wedge now. So if she tries to go back flat, okay, I'm going to be able to force the back take here. So I'm going to be able to switch from the mount, catch the Kimura control, and transition to the back take here. Okay, so if she bridges in that direction, if I stay still as she bridges in this direction, now it can cause me some trouble. But if as she starts to turn, I'm aware of this, and I switch, stepping up that back leg to the hips, propping her up with that back knee, now I'm able to switch my, my position. I can either go back to mount if you want to, or I can, again, advance position to get more points and get to an even stronger finishing position. So we're blocking up off the two directions my partner could realistically go. Um, and the last option, she can bridge up into the sky. But again, sky bridging is pointless. Let her get tired and hang out. There are no stolen coals in mount. <laughs>